ones. I didn't even make this look cute or make sure I took out my <laughs> invoices and all that jazz before I started this, and I should have. Um, <clears throat> I'm also testing out new light covers. Obviously, I do tend to edit. Um, I do tend to edit in post production, um, post filming, I should say. Um, I do tend to edit the color and all of that stuff using like Lightroom. So we will see. This is mostly to see like if I can help how much glare I have. So um, I'm going to get this all set out for you guys and then I'm going to pause real quick and come back and take a picture. I'm sorry, I just burped. But I gotta take the thumbnail picture. So give me one second. All right, friends, I'm back. Welcome to my February, February, February 2022 collective haul. Right now I have about one, two, three, four, five, five orders in, all stickers, no other types of stuff. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm also, I might take my sweater off. I am sweating. I just went on a walk. And I'm trying to film this for you guys super fast. Um, as I am currently filming, it's 5.30 after work. And um, my fiance, he has gaming at 7. We're trying to figure out dinner, all this stuff. Um, but I need to talk through this video, obviously. And I cannot film with him in our office talking and playing games with his friends so it's fine we just coordinate so anyways I have my sweater off because I'm hot anyways let's get into it I'm sorry for this long intro um let's move this aside and start with the biggest SPC order and then we'll also show I think it's February mystery but from SPC I have some floor bundles I'm not going to open each individual one but this is the Lavender Hollow and um, Hollow, her new Sparkle um, bundle. I picked this up, not with a particular kit in mind, but thinking that I could definitely use this. So we have that. I picked up one of the matte bronze um, foil bundles and the confetti um, because everyone won't stop raving about matte bronze. I'm like, do I need to hop on the matte bronze train? I also picked up these red sparkly hearts just for love theme kits or maybe even Valentine's Day I considered. I have no clue still what I'm doing for Valentine's Day, which is Valentine's week or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, then we have this um, silver twinkle uh, format bundle that I picked up so those were the bundles and then let me open the doodles and my like, foil extras and grab bags and all that that I picked up from SPC it was a big order too um, so much okay this is a doodle grab bag I got just one I know that she's out I know she said she's going to be making uh, more, enlisting more eventually um, when the time comes. So these are supposed to be oops, but they don't look that oops to me. Like I really don't see what's wrong with this. So these are the like pinky, zooming you guys in, pinky Christmas doodles. And then we have some normal standard Christmas ones. We have some ornaments. And the different colors we have a yellow um uh, like color of the week doodles we have it in this like taupe beige color we have um the like mrs claus mr claus or <laughs> mr claus santa claus and reindeers we have this pink i can't remember if this is the millennial pink but i do like this one a lot i love millennial pink um, I do see like where the cut lines are like a little to the side, but that's okay. And then we have um, these Christmas 
doodle treats. We have this red um, colorway from one of the like colors of the week and then some more Christmas ones. So overall, not too disappointed. I kind of had wished to have more that were like more like current, but I do understand like Christmas was just recent uh, in terms of their like stuff that they had. So I get it. Also, this is a freebie. It is a gold um, freebie from the like i forgot how they call this this is the ma magical i forgot which foil type name this is called but um we have that so then since we're looking at the freebie packs let's look at this this is from i think one of the harry potter um deco packs definitely gonna put this in my d stash just because i don't see myself or maybe i'll use it in my um b6 airy i don't know also this cute little um bow vinyl with silver so pretty i love silver and then we have this in hollow which i'm probably going to de-stash new year new beginnings definitely going to de-stash that as well and then this especially because i don't like rose gold that much but it's don't try to swindle me because i like cake and then these emojis i don't really use so de-stashing those too and then um we have the fashion for this kit which I don't really need I've used this kit and maybe I'd pick it up again this year but I don't know if it gets reformatted this year but we'll see but um, I will definitely include that in my D stash and then last but not least this um, rose gold SPC and new releases wiggle it Wednesday it's funny she, I don't think she even calls it wiggle it Wednesday anymore um, but this is the freebie pack card that they you know make for your stuff so then I also have some script grab bags which felt like couldn't hurt picking those up so I picked up four so let's go to the first one and they have ten in each grab bag so first we have email in light gold we have park in silver I don't really go to parks much um, I might give this to like a friend any friends I have that have like dogs that go to the park because I Canoli does not go to the park. Um, we have family cuddles and silver nail appointment in rose gold, which I will keep. I do get my nails done now, obviously, but I don't know about rose gold, but I'll still keep it. Um, we have day off in hollow hair appointment in rose gold. I'll hoard that inevitably. Um, date in hollow, game day in hollow. I don't really play games like that, and I don't really go watch games. I don't have kids, but um. I guess I'll hold on to that maybe and see. Massage and hollow. My fiance was saying he wants to do like couples massages, um, and, like a spa day, spa package for our anniversary. So um, possibly doing that. So we'll hold on to that. And then game night and hollow. So that was the first wrap bag of the scripts. And then. As you can see here, we have another, and it's film and hollow up the top. So we have film. We have the film edit and upload in rose gold. Come on, there's something stuck behind it. We have the Starbucks run in hollow. Family time in hollow. Study day in rose gold. Date night in rose gold. Um, tidy up in silver. Orders in rose gold. Play date in hollow and then Netflix and chill in rose gold. I'm seeing a lot of rose gold. I wish there was more like gold and silver, as those are my top two, not rose gold. Um, so then we have this one here with the fast food in rose gold. Then we have park and hollow again, so I'll definitely be desashing de de one of these. Family cuddles in hollow, nail appointment in rose gold. Day off in rose gold, hair appointment in um, hollow, design in rose gold, meeting in rose gold, with my love and sparkly hollow. I love sparkly hollow and I love with my love. So, and then game night in silver. So for so far, a lot of the scripts are like not very variated for me. Um, like a lot of them are just the same script and the thing with different foils which is fine if that's what you're okay with um if you mark that a lot 
we have barbecue and silver which is funny because like to me barbecue means like barbecue sauce wings because where i live you call it a cookout um then we have workout and rose gold grocery run and hollow another fast food in rose gold planning time in rose gold in my feelings in hollow shopping in rose gold appointment in gold bestie date in hollow and me time in hollow so that was it for the script grab bags let me put them somewhere i can go through them later and uh decide what to de-stash then we'll go through some more foil so um i picked up the uh double boxes and the um double box and tall box overlay like the stroke so this one is for i think this is matte bronze i don't remember if i had got this but i'm glad to nonetheless I'll pair that with the matte bronze foil I have. And then this one is champagne lights. I don't know if you guys can really see that on camera. And then we have um, sparkly hollow. Uh, I got two of those. <clears throat> then we have hollow. Two of those. Silver. Two of those. And then gold. Two of those. And then this is a different variation with the twinkle the diamond sparkle um the smaller confetti and the chunkier confetti which i love the chunky confetti um but we have sparkly hollow hollow we have two each silver and gold two of those and then we have the sparkly hollow i picked up two of these the hollow, the silver, and the gold. So pretty. So excited to use those. And I need to figure out where to store them. That way I remember to use them. Then I picked up a label sampler grab bag. Yes. And a, um, I think this is Champagne Lights matte label sampler. And then the champagne lights, mini icons. And then we have this $75 plus freebie with the, um, like a turquoise colorway. And then we have the hollow big label sampler. This is the $300 freebie, but I did not spend $300, just so you know. <laughs> um... So let's go through this grab bag of the matte label samplers. And then last we'll show you the doodles. So this is like a copper. I can't really tell what color that is. But this is like a hollow green, which I don't have. But I guess I could pick up to match. It kind of looks not as holographic in certain angles and lighting. It almost looks like an ombre. Then we have this magenta like wave one which not a huge fan of the waves i do like the blue so i'll definitely pick up the blue i'm glad to have this i'll pick up the blue stars i think then this is like a golden hollow which i think i have from a grab bag we have like the star sparkly red we have the um i can like see the scratches i think these are why these are misfit um but uh like a scratch in the foil there but this is like the rainbow one. This is the black one. I don't think it's any foil. I think it's just black. And then this one's like a chunky red sparkle. And you can kind of see the line going down in certain angles. And then this is like a hollow orange wave maybe. Maybe is it bonfire? I'm not sure. But pretty happy with that. And then last but not least, we're going through our doodles. So I picked up some of the new bright doodles and a bunch of the older doodles that I never picked up before. So we have the bright Nintendo Switch lights. I don't have a Switch light, but I don't mind using them to mark playing my Switch. We have the bright nail polish, the bright TVs, the bright laptops, the bright Target bags, 
the bright McDonald's bags, bright Chick-fil-A bags, um, the bright stickers. I thought I could use that to mark either making stickers or playing with stickers. Um, the bright t-shirts like folded laundry, the bright laundry machines, and then the bright laptops. Love the bright colors. Then we have the more muted uh, nail polish. I picked up the Easter sampler. Two of them. There's one, two, I think. I didn't get any more. Yeah. Then I picked up these weights. I picked up the treadmills because I'm trying to get back into my health journey. So I have them in the classic uh, colors and the um, grayscale colors. And then we have some cloud planners in this colorway. We have the YouTube um, TVs because I do watch YouTube on my TV sometimes. We have the classic colorway of the Nintendo Switch lights, the pizza with the chips, <clears throat> the gummy candies, which I'm PMSing, so I want all the gummies right now, um, Sonic bags. I got the Mario Doodles, because I do like playing Mario Kart. Um, the Monopoly money. This is good for money in general or playing Monopoly. The Wendy's bags. The pa the Paso like rainbow Happy Meals. Um, McDonald's. And then Chick-fil-A. So that was it for my order from SVC. That was like what I ordered. Then I'll show you guys the... Um, Mystery, which I know a lot of people are like divided on. I personally don't hate it, and I just love the value of like SPC kits in general. And like, I will find a use for them most of the time, besides like the birthday ones. But I did even get to use the f birthday one for like the first time a while ago. But this is the February 2022 mystery. I do love these like colors. Um, I like that it's like a rainy shopping kit. I feel like she also had like an exclusive rainy kit that I still have somewhere, but maybe I de-stashed that. I'm not sure. But um, I do like the two double box scenes. I do like the like shopping scene now. Will I ever be like in Louis Vuitton and like um, Chanel? Hopefully one day, but <laughs> not that not today. Um, the only thing is like mm, I don't like to be hateful or anything. I just not a huge fan of these fashion girls, and that's okay. That's my cup of tea. If you like them, that's fine. I do think, like, her outfit is cute and whatnot. I just think, like, the facial features, like, are sometimes not cute to me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I still love the overall concept and um, the execution. It's just, I'm, I love Jess. Kittenish girl Jess. So, I'm biased. I'm sorry. Um, so, we have this page here. We have this page here. Uh, the only thing I don't really like love, sometimes it comes out okay, and I'm sure it'll be fine whenever I use this. I really sometimes don't love when like deco is repeated, so like why do I need like three credit cards and like two pouches that are like identical sized? I don't know. Because I love to do deco up top, but it's fine, it's whatever. I love these colors here all together. I kind of wish this was more like a true pink instead of like a nude pink, but. It is what it is, y'all. And then we have this page here. Now, and then we have this. Once again, super gorgeous colors. The pattern's not too crazy about, but it's okay. Like, that's why people need to, like, understand. Like, even if you don't like something, it's okay. It's, like, not the end of the world. Um, then we have this box here, which I actually like. I really like this box. I wish I could have, like tall rain boots but your girl has wide calves um i like this fashion girl here i just when you get close up on the face not a huge fan but i would probably use this one and i like the um extra like terracotta color that was pulled in um and then this page here i feel like this is a really good kit to have whenever you need extenders definitely probably going to put it in for spring or may uh, spring or may april or may to me it's april spring May is like summer because it gets too hot. And then we have rose gold. I'm probably going to nix rose gold and maybe do matte bronze because I just really don't like rose gold. And I don't think, <sighs> I'm trying not to be negative. I don't, rose gold isn't my favorite. How about that? Um, and I don't think it's going to be the best with it. Like I could see matte bronze being like popping off with this kit. 
Um, if you do use it and I inspired you to get matte bronze, let me know um, for that. But here is just the foil bundle. I will hold, hold on to it and see when I want to use it. I will I'll try to use rose gold. I'm not a fan, but I'm going to try because I already have it. So don't feel like disashing a whole entire foil bundle. So that was the mystery. And then let's go into Paper Shire because I have two orders from Paper Shire. And another on the way. <laughs> Probably two more. You know, I think it's just one more. Um, I have another SBC order on the way too. The girl, she needs to slow down. But anyways, um, I have this journaling card twice, so I'll probably get rid of one and destash it to someone else. Um, but it just says 365 new chances. I feel like I have this more than once, but we'll. I don't know. And my name's on it. Oh, I feel bad about that, but whatevs um oh, sorry i'm just adjusting my legs we have this pantone peony kisses and then i think that's the same one for this one yep so then i got the two different samplers both times so i got the facebook freebie which i think i'll probably keep doing the facebook freebie because at least you have like the variety in like these i don't care about these at all but because i don't care about like marking stuff with facebook but yeah, and then we have the Instagram freebie. I'm also sorry if you guys can hear my fiance trying to make dinner. Um, then we have the all orders freebie, which is really cute. I've been trying to like use like Zinni's like functional planning and like eventually set up a bujo and like use my Oracell B6 Airy and my hobos and stuff like that. So we have that. And then we have the 20, you, uh, pounds freebie which is a cute little vanilla so cute I don't know that one's kind of creepy what's going on vanilla looks like like I don't know what's going on with girlfriend <laughs> I have no clue this one I have a 40 pounds order freebie which I love this I would definitely use this in like my monthly so definitely gonna do that so let's start off over here we have student, which I am a student, so this is very much going to get used. Um, we have office worker. I don't work in an office anymore, but I guess sometimes I could use this to mark, like, feeling like sharing the office with my fiance. Um, and most of it is usable besides the cubicle um, for me, but I would still use it. I don't care. And then I have meal prep. I don't meal prep, but I thought it would be cute to mark making food. There's, like, a banana just in the food that's crazy um then i have the keto diet i'm not, I'm not on keto but i do like eggs so <laughs> could use it for that or anything else i do like avocados and i think those are cherries and bacon and eggs which i like all of those then i have the file folders this is definitely useful for me when i'm like working on orders uh, whenever i reopen my shop i'm sorry guys i'm trying then we have Cafe Girl, which is such a vibe. We have Artist. We have Winter Reading. I'm trying to read. Winter spreads are practically over, though, and I've rarely read much. We have Winter Banners. Vanilla Winter Couple. We have the Love and Shelves for monthlies for February. We have the Spring Tea Flat Lay. Hot Wings. I love wings. Um, avocado toast. Love avocado toast. Nacho dip. Cafe food. Yummy bento. Because I don't feel like I had this. Maybe I do. I don't know. Then the dip platters. BBQ plate. Brunch dinners. Or brunch boards. <laughs> Why did I say dinners? Egg and chicken and rice. I could use this just to mark. I don't know, avocado toast and eggs and stuff. Chicken and salad. I love making chicken and salad. I don't typically make it like this, but it's whatever. Dipping hummus. I have a love-hate relationship with hummus just because of the texture. Ooh, I'm sorry. Chicken and egg salad. 
crab curry because I have that and I wish I had had that sticker to mark that when I was in Oregon. So that's that first half. Then I picked up the train nana. It's been a while since I've been on the train, like since 2018, but it's what else. I picked up the vlogging equipment, doodles, the theater tickets, the vinyl player, Valentine's night. These are so cute. I can't wait to use these. Trading cards, podcasts. I thought this would be cute to mark voiceovers. Um, moving house, not moving anytime soon. Mental health treatment, need that in my life. I have been taking vitamins. I could use that for um, tracking that. We have medicines. We have meal out, so cute. We have hair tools, which I'm obsessed with these. I have a Dyson air wrap, so I could use like that. Um, foiling machine, I could use to mark when I foil my orders. Obviously, I don't have a mink, but it's cute or whatever. And then we have finance, love it. Ebook reader, I use an iPad, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, I also read physical books as well. We have dental care. Gotta take care of your teeth. Crime genre. I don't like, I guess I could use a smart watching SVU because like, I don't do any of those like murder mystery boxes, but I think this is cute. We have board games. I don't play enough with my fiance and he hates me for it. I'm just kidding. He doesn't hate me, but he wishes I would play more. Then we have birthday celebration. And then asthma medication. I'm not asthmatic besides like exercise induced asthma <laughs> or if I'm sick, but hey, at least I have a sticker for that. So that is my order from Paper Shire. And then last but not least, we have letters to Apollo. So I picked up from her, I don't get her advent, but I love Shop Villa Beautiful pens. So I picked up her um, pen leftovers. I also got one from Sadie Stickers. I don't know if I put that away. I also have an order from Shop Villa Beautiful coming. So super excited for that. But this pen is just so pretty. I love the hot pink, even though it's rose gold, I don't care. It's just so pretty. <sighs> Let me see. I just love the way Shop the Little Beautiful pens write. I'm sorry. I can speak and talk at the same time, I promise. Speak and talk. No, I cannot, apparently. <laughs> talk and write. But anyways, um, I picked up some of her, I think this was like a $2 holla um, with her new releases. So I picked up the January... I picked them up and like all of the things because I can fold them myself. So I picked up all of the things, <laughs> all of the things, um, January, February, March. Sorry, I'm scratching my scalp. Um, we have April, May, and June, July, August, and September, October, November, December, and then that's it. So I picked up five each, one black, and then the rest I will do silver, gold, hollow and sparkly hollow and i'll foil them myself then i picked up some sleepy af scripts i got, i just did black for these buy gifts date night doctor's appointment binge watch starbucks run moody af anxious af tired af hallmark marathon planning sesh Dental appointment, lazy time, coffee please, meeting, Starbucks please, up late, up early. There's something behind it. Oh, there's another one. Wait, there's more. How do I have more? I guess they got mixed in recovery. March. One, two, three. Oh, it's, these are just the ones. Okay. So those were mixed in there. Stressed AF and then spendy AF, which is me all the time. So 
that is it for this portion of the haul. It is only week one of February. It's February 8th. So, and this is almost a 30 minute clip. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next portion because there is more stuff coming. Hi friends, welcome to the second haul bit of my February Collective haul. Um, right now we have some Shop Villa Beautiful, we have some See Amy Draw, and some Fox and Pip orders for you guys. Let me, hopefully I did that discreetly enough that you did not see my address. Um, but anyways guys, I, I'm sorry that my background is looking a little rough. I will be hopefully replacing it soon i just need to get another one of these foam boards at michael's so hopefully we'll be doing that soon um but anyways let's go ahead and go over the pens you know i don't need to do too long of an introduction um because this is the second whole bit so um we ordered some shop for the beautiful pens i got four of her new classic ones or they're like classic 2.0 so they were pens once before um and she revamped them and came back with them. Um, I didn't start learning about Shop Builder Beautiful until maybe like 2020. So I definitely miss out on a lot of pens. So I was glad that she's doing something like this. Kind of like how Irene from Simply Gilded brings back washi for people who haven't used her washi before. So this one is so pretty. I am obsessed. Love this aesthetic. Um, and I don't have like the names of them because I don't have the invoices but if you go on her site the last I had checked it wasn't sold out but hopefully it'll still be there by the time that I post this um yeah it doesn't tell me the name of them on the side so then we have this like silver metallic one with like my two three favorite colors and here it has um the pen was a little loose but it has um like pink and turquoise and purple um crystals so love that for me i'm super excited to use these obviously her pens come with refills so i have a few of those one of them is up on my thing that i'm missing she also gave one of these little sticker things i probably won't use this it's just going to go into my d stash but you could use this for like um I forgot what style of planning that is. Um, is it is it like journal deco? I guess. Um, so, anyways, so then we have this like periwinkle purple colored one. Very beautiful, and I love the crystals on the inside. They're like this like navy and like mint. Two of my favorite other favorite colors. So this is this one, and then another one that I was super excited about. Ow cutting up my hands I'm trying not to like cut up my fingers because I'm gonna be getting my nails done and like just a few more days they're pretty much grown out um but some I always have like bad luck and get like scratches and stuff when I know I'm gonna need like acetone and like all of those things that hurt my hand <laughs> but um here's this beautiful like turquoise one and it has these white crystals I am obsessed and I have quite a few of her pens now, so that's, um, you'll see in a second something I got for displaying them, because I don't have quite a lot of room for something crazy. I did get this acrylic stand. Um, I think this is like a film, or maybe it's not. Could be. Is this in a film? I don't know. I think it is, but I don't, I don't have enough, like, what's it called to get this off? Um, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here in silence, y'all. Um, I'm just trying to concentrate on getting this film. There we go. Also, sorry, you might have just heard a car outside. They're honking. <laughs> I am using my tweezers. I'm surprised there's people honking because like usually this late at night like there's not a lot of commotion. It's currently nine o'clock on the dot. Um come on. This is hard. 
I hate like film like this. Oh my god. Okay. It doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we got one film off. And then let's try the others. Um, but pretty much it's an acrylic stand and you can put washi, it has a washi tower, and then, um, I don't know what else I forgot. Like you could hold stickers on it, I think. I'd have to go look at the picture. But this is what the washi tower looks like. I thought it'd be really cute to have like on my desk. And she secured it to this like card. Let me see. Oh my god. should probably just finish doing this off camera oh my god I just wanted to show you guys the full look though okay so there's one thing I'm like I should not be using my tweezers like this because I can hurt myself and also I could be scratching up the acrylic okay so that's done and then I think this only has film on the bottom which I'm almost tempted to just leave okay or yeah there's also film on the top oh my god please don't let the other thing have like a bunch of film there we go oh my god that and then last but not least is this other thing I'll try to um, remember to insert on um, in editing the uh, clips together I'll try to remember like to insert how it was displayed on the website and maybe even include a picture of how it looks on how I'm using it if you guys are interested in that because I'm not gonna do it like right now <sighs> all right and then the last piece All the film is off and now I'm making a mess all over my desk so pretty much you put that like that I'm not remembering what was the purpose of this part <laughs> but we shall see they're called panels And this is the washi stand. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. I'm obsessed. I love acrylic everything. But I'm just not sure what I should put <laughs> in between this thing. I'm not sure y'all. But yeah. Very cute. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. What do you think I should use it for? Like this part specifically. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um... Did that okay and then last but not least is this acrylic pen stand so this one probably has film too so the bottom layer top layer a center stand 
Venice Interstand 2, Tarot Protective Film, Assemble the Acrylic Piece Panels. <sighs> Back to the struggle bust, y'all. So let me take this out. This is the bottom layer. And it can hold one, two, three, four, five, one, two, four, nine, eleven, uh, fifteen, twenty. Twenty pins, which I might have just twenty, so that's, I don't know how many I have, so it's okay. I don't think I have too many, but we shall find out. Alright, that one came out pretty easy. I don't, there could be... I don't want to trip my nail. I don't think there's any film on this. Okay, and then let me take the film off this. I see. There you go. That one was pretty easy, and then let's do this side. Okay, that was easy. And then let me take this out and try this again. Aye, 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 guys. I'm sorry. This is taking up like a good portion of the haul. And I don't have much to like fill the silence with. Hopefully if you guys watch this, you guys speed me up because I don't want to bore you to death. Okay, I don't think this has film on the front, so I might have scratched it for no reason, but that's okay. And then I think there's film here. Yep, okay. I think there's film on the other side for this one too. That was confusing. So then, ah, it's sticking. So then it says, assemble the acrylic panels to each other to form the center stand. So I think it goes like this. Yeah. And then, uh, assemble the center stand through the cross window on the Top acrylic panel. Like this. Probably. Something like this. Ta da! And then do like this. Hopefully, I don't break it by applying too much pressure, but this is what it looks like. And then you can put your pens like that. Okay. Looks so cute. I can't really, you know, I'll try to show you <laughs> the other angle, but um, ah! I knew that was gonna happen. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this, y'all. So I can't really boom, ta, -da! and that is my acrylic pen stand. So super excited for that. And that was my order from Shop Villa Beautiful. Now let's get into my order from uh, C Amy Draw. And then we'll do Fox and Pet. And I was really happy to get my orders from them today because I'm filming stuff that I need their stickers for. So um, I got from See Me Draw. I had been debating picking up this washi and it was on sale, I think. So I just went ahead and did it. It's the Halloween Disney mugs. I think they're so cute. Um, then she always hand letters your name on these tags. 
and her whole entire thing is like Baymax um, so it says you're unbelievable because of um, Valentine's Day I think uh, the uh, CME draw had like a Valentine's Bay release then I got this vinyl and it's a quote from Tiana and it says the only way to get what you want um, in this world is through hard work which hate that for me but I mean it's true um, <laughs> so then I got a bunch of her mini doodles um, I got some bags for going to home goods TJ Maxx I mean not TJ Maxx um, Trader Joe's uh, Costco I have TJ Maxx on my brain because I just was at the one that was in Georgetown and I'm dying to go back to get really nice suitcases because they had the best ones. Um, then Bath and Body Works, Walmart, Target, these little McDonald's cups, these Starbucks coffee cups, um, these crumble bags because I had gotten crumbles so that's why I was glad to have that and another thing from Fox and Pip. Um, these little sushi to go bags because I did get sushi to go. Um, some Chipotle bags. Haven't had Chipotle in a while. I was on a Chipotle like kick and then I haven't had it in I don't know how many weeks now. Taco Bell bags. Um, Chick-fil-A bags. Love Chick-fil-A. McDonald's bags. Hadn't had McDonald's in a while either. Um, and then, oh, come on, these Chick-fil-A cups, these McDonald's cups, and these little Starbucks ice drinks. So, and then also here was the journaling card, and this is Dusty Bun, Susie Poo. I think they're Dustin and Susie is like the walkie-talkies from, what was it? Stranger Things. It's been so long since... Stranger Things has come out with episodes I completely forgot. So then here is the last order for this haul bit. Um, so we have an order from Fox and Pip. They did have their like six or seven, might have been six year anniversary. But here's the freebie. Um, you get uh, here is a little like Amazon Prime delivery box. Yes, and do not recommend. A budget um, sale. Your order is on the way. I have been getting Uber Eats more often recently. And then this like cloud tag. Um, so then I picked up these vlogging um, cameras. I thought I could use them to mark filming. And then I picked up these snooze pillows. You know, obviously to mark sleeping. I have the second breakfast sheet. Um, I just thought it was really cute and I thought I could use it for a lot of stuff. I have this P.O. box because I have a P.O. box. Um, pink box cookies, which I was so excited for when I saw these. Um, to mark in crumble. And then here is um, Animal Crossing New Horizons switches, which I haven't been playing as much, but I want to get back into it. Favorite foods, we have like noodles, ramen, could be whatever. Um, tacos, hamburgers, and fries and then pizza I really do like the pizza um probably gonna use that the most out of all of those I got the sonic drinks drive-in drink is what that sheet is called then I got the facetime friends um I got these I think to mark whenever I do end up facetiming Cindy which I'm obsessed with paper right now we're not really facetiming she's dealing with the bar prep she's got a hustle so and then this is supposed to be me and my best friend. Her name is Ariel. And then I get the wait a minute Mr. Postman to mark whenever I go to the post office. But yeah, guys, that is it for this portion of the haul. And I'll talk to you guys in the next portion. There's still more stuff coming, so don't you worry. Hi, friends. Back with, I believe, this is the third week of um, February haul for me. Give me one second. I'm going to close my blinds just did that not that that will really make the room soundproof but I'm just hoping because I can kind of hear cars coming and going it is currently 5:49 as I film this haul I wanted to get this haul bit filmed um, because my fiance is going to be playing games in like roughly an hour and a half so um, and it's hard to film because he'll usually be in the room 
in our office with me um, and I didn't want to inconvenience either one of us so I just want to get this done so starting off with some simply gilded we do have an aura cell order technically two ish I got one from um, someone who found me on Instagram and um, it's a b6 airy cover you'll see it in a, when I get to it but um, pretty much someone found me on Instagram I was like asking on aura cell what should be restocking the ca camellia or camilla color and um, someone was trying to get rid of it and um, sold it to me so I have that but um we'll go into the simply gilded stuff first and I will talk you through some storage um, that I will be doing soon I'm still working on some more storage so that's why I don't have any other storage videos for you guys because um, I'm still trying to like refigure out my foil storage um, I can probably do like my like small foil items like my icons and stuff like that and um, I'll show you guys some stuff I'm working on it but I'll go into you know what is the purpose of all this so um first up let's look at this washi I ordered I usually try not to buy her washi that much anymore actually because I have so much and I don't use it really ever besides like whenever I don't have a 15 millimeter washi for something but um it doesn't match or whatever but I did pick up these because they weren't on this website that I buy washi like simply go to washi from I buy washi now like samples from uh, a world of whimsy I think is their um, shop name and I've featured them in a haul before but um oops, just zooming y'all in I thought these were so cute and I thought they would definitely be usable I mostly cared for the Valentine's treats because I wanted to use those in my February um, monthly so I picked those up and I think they're so cute I just want a sucker for anything like sweets and then I thought these like string bows and hearts were super cute and they're gold they're white and gold and pink and gold so I figured I'd get good use of, out of those I could use them for my monthly as well then um I did order some stickers, only one thing, but I think I've seen Andrea show these before, but these are some heart icons that are in light gold from Simply Gilded. Sorry if you can hear my fiance trying to prepare dinner in the background, but anyways, um, I thought these were so cute, and this is a cute little card. Love that concept, and the pastel um, is really pretty, so I picked up these, and they're going to go in my little mini album that I have for that stuff. Um, she doesn't have any other colors that I wanted, but hopefully she would bring more later. If not, gold's still fine. Um, so then we have this, um, I don't know how to call this, like a journaling card. And then this sampler here of stickers. Um, it's a sampler freebie for St. Patrick's Day. And then this cute little bow in this navy blue color. Can you, is it going to focus? There we go. With silver foil. And then, um... This is like, I had ordered these in two separate orders, so this is the first part of the order, and then this is the second. So these are the mini albums. Um, at first I only ordered the big one, and then I started to realize like how I would try to functionally use these, and so what I kind of came up with um, is I'm going to be, I started to pick up the Scribble Prince Co. Um, colorway like doodles that she does every week and I will be storing that in either this or something else um probably this one because it kind of matches my my other one you know aesthetics you know um, um this one's not on her site anymore simply gilded I might try to offload some of the stuff because I had also considered um having like hollow and sparkly hollow and like one and then um, black and white and another and then like gold and silver and another I did put some rose gold in here even though I don't really like using rose gold but you guys can kind of get a sneak of how I'm storing all my like little thing icons pretty much um, and that's how I do that so she's really thick but I love her um, and it makes it so much easier looking for stuff than looking through my like individual gold silver and hollow and sparkly hollow albums also sorry you might hear my dog and you might also hear my fiance yell at my dog in a second to stop barking but um yeah this is a really cute little sticker album i thought i could definitely make good use of it so 
picked that up and then I also picked up this one just because I really love the colors on this one um that is a little dirty but it's okay uh so it's like a parfait and it just reminds me of like the aesthetic of my shop like not parfait but like a bakery I don't know I forgot what the color of this is uh, but it's like pink and white stripes it might still be available the only thing is the large one is still is not available still so I didn't get the large one but I did get the large one of the quilted and for this one I'm just going to be putting in my like um stickers that don't really fit in the smaller ones that I use for like my functional planners in these and this because I have <sighs> this green one here it's like a seafoam color and it almost matches my cloud but I just keep like kit leftover like foil kit leftovers in here so I have like champagne lights and like a I use like a magenta I just keep like leftovers in here so then that way if I feel the need to pull it in like this is a matte bronze, I'm pretty sure, or a champagne, or this might be champagne foil. Um, this might also be champagne, but I just put anything that is like left over in this one, so from whenever I use uh, foil. So I don't really have too clear an idea besides like using stickers that are just too big in here. Also, um, now I remember, okay, one of these, hold on, let me see. Oh, here's the other journaling card. I like the drip. It's cute. It's with the collab with Cookie Sticker Co. And then another one of these freebies. And then um, this one is a stars and blue and silver. So let me show you this other mini album I have super quick. Um, I keep my label samplers in here. I think I'm definitely going to offload. Um, like, because I grabbed like a label sampler. Uh, grab bag from Script Prince Co. I might get more, but anyways, um, I'm gonna offload these from here and put them into probably this one, maybe. Um, those are just my like overlays for uh, double boxes and whatnot, and then I'll put these in here. I think I just put those in there, and then um. I also, I don't know where I put them, but I had them somewhere, I'm not sure where they are, but I also have the like tall box overlay and um, tall box overlay and um, strokes and stuff like that um, and one of these somewhere, I don't know, maybe it's in here, are they combined, yeah they are, okay. Oh, there you can see um i'm just gonna offload these into this all my like box overlays that are like this size so and then that way they'll all be in one place so yeah that's for me to do today once i finish filming this haul and eating dinner and putting everything away so i think you can kind of tell like what are my favorite colors you know but they're so cute i'm obsessed this one's really chunky, so I might have to figure out something for her. Or I'll just leave it. I don't really care. Um, but anyways, that is that. That is my Simply Gilded portion of this haul. Then let me move on to... We'll just do more... Um, we'll go into stickers, and then we'll do the Aura Cell stuff last. So, have some SPC Happy Mail, and... Um, some what's it called coffee monsters co so let's open the coffee monsters co first move that out of the way so from the coffee monsters co um i don't remember what sale this was if there was a sale or what i don't think i see an invoice or what um here is the journaling card it is just a uh, emoji with some different scenes so one using the restroom and then washing his hands one like relaxing with breakfast one in bed and then one like relaxing on the couch with a cat such a cute little mood and this is thank you for supporting my small business i hope you have fun with your new stationary supplies and i cannot wait to hear what you think xoxo helen and then this was signed by mama tater um and it says what does a house have in its closet address <laughs> so that's really funny um i've never heard that one before but anyways, ooh, I'm so excited I have this, this little pocket because I'm 
I'll show you guys in a second. But anyways, oh, actually, I think this was like the new release for um, couple stickers, and so I picked them up. But anyways, this is the January 2022 freebie with um, emojis, like with mountains, fall. It's supposed to be like winter, fall, summer, and spring. Um, so that's really cute. And then we have some book nerd emojis in the colorful way. TV addict emojis I picked up happy emojis. I figured I needed more positive emojis. I got some violin emojis. Now, I don't have a violin right now, you guys, but I I used to play violin for five years, um, and I'm convinced that I could still play if um, I get another one. My mom sold mine, so yeah. Then we have some stationary bikes. I don't really cycle, but um, if I get into it, that would be useful to have. Then I have some ADHD emojis, which I really do think I have ADHD, as do a lot of people um, believe that, and I really do have like problems with focusing, uh, so I'm trying to self-correct it rather than like go see a counselor like I should or go get medicated, but whatever. Then I got some toothpaste and toothbrush emojis, I got some floss emojis, we gotta be on that dental care routine. I picked up some e-readers, I don't have an e-reader, I just have my iPad, but um, I could use this, it doesn't matter. Uh, then I have running late emojis, planning time emojis. I think these were a reformat and I don't think I had those. Driving emojis, I think these are also a reformat. Um, lazy day emojis, I'm always down for a really good lazy day. Workout emojis part one, time to get back into a gym routine. Date day emojis, I thought these would be cute to mark date days with my fiance. Date night emojis, these are the things that were like the new releases that triggered my purchase. Then birthday gift wrapping emojis. Haircut, I haven't gotten a haircut in so long, but when I do. Then some journaling time emojis, record player emojis. Um, my fiance has a record player that I got him for Christmas, so I don't really use it, but if he's listening to it, I guess I could mark that. Then the 2022 Lunar New Year sampler. Even though Lunar New Year is already passed, <laughs> I don't remember when I ordered this, um, but it's fine. I can use it next year. Then deep cleaning emojis, which I've been in a deep cleaning mode for like the past two months. Sometimes, like, I just get like that one random time of the month where you're like, I need to clean everything. So there's that. And then I got these mask up emojis because I don't remember if these were new or not if I didn't have them but I thought they were perfect for marking like errands and stuff and grocery shopping because I still wear a mask wear a mask people so yeah that is all the stickers and then I got one of these adhesive pockets and I'll show you if I can get it open there it goes so it's one of these adhesive pockets and you can put your stickers or die cuts or whatever post-it notes in here. It's so cute. I love the little like planning and I think it's going to go perfect for what I'm going to show you in just a second. Even though like <sighs> I found this like person on Facebook for the Oracell group and I found their YouTube and then I found their Instagram and they're just ugh, they're really getting me like wanting to make everything Disneyified. so I don't know. I did have in mind to use that though, and I'm probably still gonna use it for one of my planners. So anyways, I might put on like uh, acetate and then, but I don't have that many ring bound planners this year. So anyways, this is my Scribble Prints Co. order. So um, we have the, this is the order freebie in this color. It's like a taupe, um, taupey beige brown. And then we have this periwinkle freebie here and then um this is like the freebie pack i love this little um card because i was just talking about how i want to disneyify stuff so i'm definitely keeping this but it's the um i think it's magic uh card and then on this side you have this it's so cute i love it then you have this updating the cloud die cut the year is yours probably not going to keep this I have so many of those from over the years. Some Scribble Prints Co. Uh, Happy Mail labels, foiled in silver. Some emojis, I think these are gold. Some pink flags, some rose gold flags, I mean. And then these gold, like, foil deco. 
and then these like traveler people from one of the mysteries like fashion girls i mean traveler people i feel like the uncut gems meme on the internet saying these traveler people um but anyways um so in this order i picked up some doodle icons and um two of the matte bronze uh I think this, this is a sparkle, um, but matte bronze sparkle foils, uh, foil bundles. I'm like leaning towards mixing matte bronze and gold together with this because I do want to pick up the gold Easter foil from Caress Press. But I decided like last minute, I was like, I'm feeling like a very like clean adult. Like I don't have kids. So I was feeling like really into this more than like the peeps art, even though the peeps art is really cute and I usually love pastels, but I was really feeling this like after thinking about it. At first I didn't feel it, but then I was like, I want to go with this one. So I just think it's like a mature refreshing like kit and I'm gonna really enjoy using it and it's very much like it's similar to my aesthetic I mean if I did have a house I would love a house with white and white paint and black trim and stuff like that and then we do have the freebie doodles I'm not gonna open it and you know go through it with you guys but if you want to see it you can check out um, the website I did get these um, fashion girl add-ons I'm gonna use this girl and then I picked up the 15 millimeter washi I do love the color of the ombre and then I picked up the label sampler so at first I was like hmm, I don't really even know if I want an Easter kit just because I didn't see that much art that was really calling to me but then I started to really think about this and I was like I really want to use this one for Easter so very cute and then I picked up these shopping bags and these um, carts and then some books. These are the doodles. So got more coming on the way. You know me. And then um, I picked up some scripts. So we have nail appointment and gold, silver, and hollow. Um, I picked up some laundry scripts just because I've been doing laundry more often. And gold, silver, and hollow. Um, I picked up some homework scripts, and I don't know if I'm missing one or what. Did I not order gold? But oh no, it's stuck together. I picked up some homework scripts because you know school. Um, but we have gold, silver, and hollow, and then I picked up some FaceTime scripts in silver, hollow, and gold, or gold, silver, and hollow, however you see it. So. That was my SPC order. And then last but not least, let's get into this order-ish. One's an order from Orcel and one's from someone selling it to me. So, you guys will see. I have already hauled before. I'm getting like inspired on how to use this because I just really wasn't sure. But I have already hauled before my lavender cover and my weekly and i kind of messed up my weekly so i'm glad to have a new one um but this one is the daily i ordered this directly from orastel i know a lot of people complain that um it is really hard to get uh the daily but just make sure you're signed in like before she uh restocks because she doesn't even like close the site or anything so just make sure you're signed in um to your like shop account or whatever and then just like as soon as it restocks literally add to cart and check out do not add anything else and if there is something else you want add it to your cart before you check out so anyways um it came with this freebie because of the new jewel toned clouds honestly i really do like the clouds but i really am more of a pastel girl and i can't see myself using them like I just really love pastels I've had um I forgot what it's called cotton candy or like cream candy or whatever I've had the rose quartz I've had the lilac or whatever and then now I have the um sea foam so anyways I have um not really I love the, the way these colors look I just I know that I probably it doesn't go with my aesthetic so so, and then my next cloud you'll see in my next part of my haul whenever I get my um either my March haul or the end of this haul I will be getting my um Cinderella which is what I'm going to be using for the next year and then I'm going to do a black um blossom because it was on sale so it's whatever so anyways this is the daily I picked up from Orestel I really wanted to try the daily um at first I was like I would never use a daily but I actually really enjoy dailies and I've been doing them in my 
um hobos so yeah i think i'm gonna really like this i'm gonna try to make it more decorative slash functional because i kind of really am using my hobo a6 um as a more functional type of planner because it has daily and has monthly but it doesn't have weekly sometimes i don't really even like weeklies so unless it's like decorative planning so yeah that is the classic daily b6 from aura Stell with a collaboration with annie plans printables um i will definitely try to make a video i really enjoyed watching videos on these and i don't feel like there's enough but um i'll definitely try to make a video on like when i get this set up and how i'm using it i definitely want to at least use it one-on-one -on -one before filming that for you guys so anyways um but here is just like an example of um the daily and so it just says top bar um fits standard 15 millimeter washi um and date covers and sticker kits important checklists at the top then you can do checklist secret lines for time check boxes etc um, full box columns three equal divided one and a half columns that fit your favorite sticker kits however you want that's also what really inspired me to pick up this and then it's funny this is dinner at earl's which is also a place that i go to um i wonder if it's the same earl's i'm sure it's probably it probably is but anyways um and then you can kind of like journal and use stickers like that so it's really cool to have like an example um I will try to link in the description down below when I upload this. I'll try to remember to link some other videos that kind of got me inspired. One person was, I think her name's Laura Lee Planning. And then um, I'll have to, I'll link her down below. I can't remember her name, but I'll link her in her account down below. She inspired me as well. Um, so this is the like yearly overview. You could kind of do like gratitude, important dates, mood trackers, etc. So, I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet, but we shall see. But anyways, getting into the last part of this. Let me move this out of the way. Um, ah, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so I didn't think I wanted this color because I didn't think it was going to be pink enough. Um, and it is clearly so pink and so beautiful. Um, I'm super excited. So pretty much, um, I'm going to shout her out. I'm gonna shout her out on Instagram, like out here, for you to follow her on Instagram. Let me go see. Um, her planner account is Planner Baby, but B A B I E Planner Baby, and pretty much, I had like posted on. Um, how am I not following her back yet? Um, I just followed her back. But anyways, uh, I had posted on Oristel's restock for the dailies. I was like, she was also restocking some other covers. And I was like, hey, are you going to ever like restock this cover? And so then, um, let me see. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She's Hawaiian. I feel so bad. But um, she pretty much um, messaged me and she wrote, reached out to me. And she was like, hey, like I have that cover. I feel so bad. I don't want to mispronounce her name k-e-h-a-u um but she was like hey i have that cover you know like i'll sell it to you do you want it and i was like oh, should i get it i don't know and so i like i was like yeah i'm gonna get it so i messaged her back and i was like hey like yeah i'll i'll definitely do it and she like sold all the stuff to me included so there's another like weekly so i'll have a different weekly because the other one i haven't even really fully set up i was trying to like i'll probably use the other one is like um play and like make stickers for because i definitely wanted to make stickers for these planners but this one i'll probably use more functionally um i like how it has like the in-between little like dashboards because you could put like what you want for like the, the next month to be reminded of in between so yeah i but the one thing i did like about the weekly is it has a i mean the daily has like a weekly dashboard so you can like put everything there so um that one didn't have th this one doesn't have that i don't think um but i'm definitely excited to use both and one of the girls that i got inspired by uses her daily in the pink and her weekly in the purple so i'm definitely gonna be doing that and then with the um her selling this to me she included these um stickers and so we have some mini calendars um one two three four we have four of those i think 
unless they're sticking together i don't think they are and then i have the tab stickers in white i don't know if i'm gonna use these yet and then the labels in black i don't know how to put these on but i will definitely oh on these okay and i have the classic rainbow and then white i love rainbow it's definitely more my vibe and then um some black labels here and then these like stickers here index stickers i could use these so i have them in blue pink and black and then this is just like how to take care of your um planner and then i get one of these cute little cloud um what's it called paper clips I don't think it's an, is it an exact match. I'm not sure. I think this is a rose quartz, but it doesn't matter to me. It literally looks like almost the same. I know that on the website, it didn't look like too pink to me. And now it's not even on the website as like a listing picture. So I'm glad I picked this up because I was like, I don't know if she's going to bring that back. But anyways, so excited. I have both of the like scallop. I love the scallop. It's so like dainty. Um, but both of my um, airy covers have the scallops but anyways guys that is it for this portion of the haul it's already almost like at 30 minutes um so yeah this is gonna be a really long haul i still have like so much stuff that's already shipped luckily um so you know we got one more week until february pretty much is over it is currently february 22nd and i will be uploading um <clears throat> the obviously you guys already know i'll be uploading this haul you will have seen that the haul is uploaded but what i mean is i will be filming like the final bits of my haul bits um i think every open order that i have is like shipped so that is perfect so hopefully it all gets here next week and in time if not it'll go in the march haul but um until then until this is the last second to last portion third week of february but thank you guys. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next haul portion. Hi friends. Welcome to the last portion of this haul. It is February 28th. And that means it is the last day for me to film <clears throat> for my February 2022 collective haul. And I have, I believe, four orders here. Obviously, you can see the big ones are these gorgeous planners from Oristel. We have this cloud and then we also have a blossom. So since they're already up on the top, let's just go ahead and get into it um, with these ones here. Move that off to the side. But um, these are the, um, obviously I said the cloud planner. This one is in Cinderella and it's going to be my planner for 2023. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I love the color. Um, super happy to have this. I did buy it as an oops. Now, I didn't really, like, I did, like, peek at it. I honestly don't even see what's oops about it. Like, I tried to look at the, um, this, like, the rings and see the mechanism or whatever because it was, like, $15 off. I also bought it during her, um, Valentine's Day sale. So, let me take this stuff out. It's gonna go on my bookshelf for when um for holding on to until you know i get inserts for the next year and whatnot maybe this is the oops i don't know nope that was lint so i honestly don't know so if you guys are interested in having like a planner or something that you don't see is like in stock in the color uh as non-oops honestly like, I really don't even see what's wrong with this. So, um, the only thing is I wasn't, like, I didn't love gold hardware. And, oh, I can kind of see, like, the scratch on the gold hardware. Is it dust? I don't really know. Anyway, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I don't love gold. But this is going to be set up as Disney-themed. Maybe with, like, some, like, Cinderella, Prince Charming, Bridal. Because I am planning to hopefully get married next year. So, kind of want to have that vibe also. Like, happily ever after. Um, and have it a little different versus how I used to have my first planner that I had set up for Disney stuff. I'm definitely thinking like a happily ever after vibe. The Cinderella blue, it's just, it's kismet. So, um, we have that. And like I said, I bought it, oops, I also bought it with a sale. So, happy for that. And then this is the Black Blossom, which I'm going to be using the year after in 2024. Um, I'm going to do a pastel goth. Um, I've been really wanting to do pastel goth and I'm just gonna go for it. 
like <clears throat> like pastel spooky kind of vibes i just i really want to do it and i feel like it would pop so well with the black and the silver and this so um this blossom i don't know why it was on sale but i picked it up it wasn't oops or anything like that but um i picked it up and um i can't believe this is rsl times spc i guess i guess maybe because like of the pattern or whatnot but yeah it's a black blossom with i love the little detail here the little um jewel in the button uh but yeah it's a black blossom with silver and i'm gonna be using it in 2024 oh my god i'm gonna be 30 in like three years okay so then let's move on to sadie stickers ah, my stickers are everywhere um so from sadie stickers i needed some more albums for organizing organizing so i love her albums i have a good combination of hers i have mostly hers i do have some happy scrappy some harriet wright designs and some one uh creativity and in ink but i have most of them i think are sadie stickers so this one i picked up to put rose gold stuff in i don't really care for rose gold but i just figured i'll just have it and just whenever i want to use it so this is for a rose gold foil and um it's a collab with miss and meow uh with sadie stickers and it just says my happy place since a little planner set up i thought it was really cute a little charm on the spine and then a bow so super excited to get organized <coughs> excuse me clearing my throat um then we have this one which i don't think i have this one so that's great for me i used to have it as a mini and i still probably do have the mini album somewhere but um i got this one uh i think for maybe to hold b6 kits or something i think probably b6 kits or whatever i'll figure it out um, and then I got this one. Love it. I, I still love this, like, um, it's a, I guess it's a candle. It's like, that's what the label's inspired off of. Um, uh, but it's, um, it says stickers. I forgot what I'm going to put in this. Honestly, it was like a few weeks back when I ordered this, when I was going through stuff and organizing stuff. So I'm going to have to jog my memory. And then this, I'm going to give away. I technically already have this and I didn't even realize. So I'm gonna give away kits and this so stay tuned i'm not ready to do it yet because i'm not ready to put all my leftovers together so that's that um and it'll be brand new so you don't have to worry about that um and then we have a april monthly and it has rose gold foil let me zoom y'all in rose gold foil and it has like cherry blossoms i love the cherry blossoms here i live close to washington dc it's been like two three years since i've been able to go so i'm definitely gonna try to go this year to see the cherry blossoms it was my first official date with my fiance um like a setup date that wasn't like hey you know you want to meet up today <laughs> it was like planned out and whatnot and so that was really fun and special so definitely excited to go back i don't even use like this planner like a b6 uh just in your printables but we'll see um i might try to see if i can fit this in my um aura cell times and plans printables planner i don't think it will fit but we'll see hold on i started to like use pen in it today and just try not to be a perfectionist about it um i think it might fit uh, the only thing is these don't go perfectly okay so i won't do that but or I, I could and i could just not use the bottom but but yeah this is my new baby i'm trying to get like ideas and figure out how i want to use her so for now i'm just doing pen because i'm just like stop being a perfectionist just use your stuff that you pay for and live your life um live your best life okay so um move that i have an spc order here and a um whimsical cat studio this is so cute i love the color of this envelope so we're gonna go with whimsical cat first just because i'm super excited because i know spc is not really kits for me right now this is mostly like doodles foil and um extras i'm surprised it got to me so fast i think i ordered this wednesday or thursday last week and i'm gonna have to take my invoice out off camera but um 
I ordered like the uh, all the extras that I needed for kits that were the extras were going to be gone so that's what that order is and then some doodles and foil but that's it so no kits so let me open this it's a cute little washi it has like cake and ice cream and cats and they're so cute so kawaii and I got some die cuts. I spent bank <laughs> here, y'all. I spent so much money. I like checked out. I was like, why did I do that? But I had a lot of stuff to uh, pick up. So we have this cute little kawaii like girl. With, like a, she's like a bunny. Oh, she's got a carrot purse. So super cute. And it's like holographic. It's a die cut. I think die cut sticker maybe. Here is the freebie. Um, this is like from Studio Ghibli. I don't really know who this character's name is I'm sorry I'm not Studio Ghibli well versed but um you have some of these characters and the stickers inside of um him I'm not sure what his name is then we have this spring bucket list I don't really care about spring like that so I don't really have a bucket list but it is cute and then you can scan for free printables doodle stickers by the whimsical cat these are obviously from the Philippines and it just says we'd love to see your unboxing video or photo tag us and then they have all their social media. So, first up, I got these Hank stickers. One of these to mark stuff, like my fiance doing stuff. Um, then I got some wedding stickers. Um, I get the Zoe girl and I get the Hank, although his hair looks like lighter here, but it's fine. Um, thought these would be so cute. Or oh, they're Hal and Zoe. Okay. Um, then there's Hal and Zoe here. I thought I picked Hank. No? Oh, I did pick Hal how whatever but his hair i guess just looks different on certain pages so we have these stickers here so cute then we have these stickers here these ones here more so and how i guess maybe she changed like the hair color through certain stuff here's them gaming here's them just hanging out in bed which i do sometimes often with my fiance just talk and or be on our phones and show each other memes and stuff then we have the shopping ones, which is definitely how my fiance feels when I take them shopping. Then we have um, how like cooking, because my fiance does cook for me. And then we have Zoe and how like watching TV. We have them cooking dinner together, which we do. We have the um, Zoe getting like her picture taken by how. I always hate how my fiance takes pictures of me. He rarely ever takes a good picture of me, in my opinion. And then we have them dancing. We have dance parties. We have them running, which we do go exercise together sometimes. Then they have them laying with the phones. That's definitely us. And then them playing like chess. I don't really play chess, but my fiance knows how to, so maybe I will let him teach me one day. Then I have these BFF girls, these gas pumps. Her paper is so nice. It's like that premium matte, like a vinyl almost. Then we have these um, grocery bags and tote bags, like reusable totes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we have these toasties. I love toast. love like avocado toast with the fried egg or bacon or just avocado toast so yummy there are the girls cleaning i have um zoe here where she's angry zoe here studying more studying pup stuff um zoe here like having anxiety slash freaking out some emoji heads so um at disney because i only had the Haley ones because they didn't used to have zo so became a character after i started shopping there so got those so with food so like doing like podcasting slash i do this like my voiceovers for my videos so like being sad so with a pup reminds me of me and my knolls my cannoli and then we have Zoe planning, you know, I do that. Um, then we have Zoe with like junk food. We have Zoe like tired, or either waking up and being tired or going to bed tired. 
then we have Zoe packing and I thought these were so cute to mark packing clothes. Zoe um, with like healthy foods like salads and fruits. Zoe back pain because I have back pain. <laughs> then we have um, her like overthinking which I thought would be great for like insomnia slash overthinking which sometimes I do like especially at night when I start <laughs> just spiraling out of control in my mind. Then Zoe with some pancakes. I haven't had pancakes in a while. No, I kind of want some. Then Zoe like doing her hair. Zoe with some ramen. Zoe trying to work and her dog <laughs> trying to stop that. That's cannoli for sure. He doesn't really get on my computer because I sit at my desk, but he will sit close to me and like beg <laughs> for stuff. Then here's Zoe cooking. I thought it'd be cute for whenever I cook stuff with these ingredients, which I constantly do. And then Zoe with a mask. I thought these would be cute to have for errands and stuff. Then Zoe like doing Zoom calls. I don't really do like camera Zoom calls unless it's with family, but um, at work we do have meetings, so I thought it'd be good to mark work. Then Zoe being like sleepy. I love this sheet so much. She's so cute. And then Zoe with her planner and planning desk and whatnot, and that's such a vibe. So that is my full whimsical cat studio order. Super excited to have some stuff for my stash. Then let me open Scrub Prince Co. This is the last thing, and then this haul it is over. So let me take my invoice off camera. There we go. So um okay so this is also the harry potter stuff did i just accidentally buy this twice i think i did whatever so i think i accidentally picked up the blue foil bundle today but i actually like the blue so it's not a big deal um but it's the blue star like navy foil bundle i think it's such a pretty color to me it's not navy it's like cobalt but or like electric blue then we have the um i forgot how exactly they call this bundle name let me look at my invoice it is wizard um in gold so uh depending on if i by the time you guys see this you will have seen my march kit lineup this is the foil bundle that i'm considering using with cozy cafe from spc then we have this freebie here that says um go this is the ones that love us never really leave us it is not due to dwell on dreams and forget to live so if i do use this in the cozy cafe i will use one of these quotes i'll just put them together in general then we have this freebie pack um take this so we have this vinyl glitter silver sticker it's like gray like a gray glitter with sparkles come on there we go so that looks like then we have another one of these cards i already have one but i might keep it and just turn it on the other side for my other um cloud and then we have the year is yours which i'm gonna de-stash de these i just never use them de this as well don't use that this would be de-stashed as well. I just don't need these like tiny little bows. And then this also de-stashed. So a good majority of them de-stashing. Same goes for this. Um, I don't think I'll need a kit like this for quite a while. Um, but yeah, then we have this little card, SPC freebie pack. So then we have extras and doodles and galore. So let me... I'm scratching my face because my face itches sorry um so i picked up you can see on top i picked up the magic like magical doodles and the magic colorway i have to pick up the kit i don't have the kit yet but very cute then i got the brownies doodles um the like wizard house doodles then these doodles here um pretty much Harry Potter and then these pet leashes um what's it called what is this um takeout bags sorry I was blanking and then 
colorful takeout bags and then ikea bags and i think i accidentally ordered some more of those today because i think my cart had like not updated or something so then we have the special colorway in this like beautiful lavender lilac-y color and we have the doodle pay the eight number eight number seven number six number five number four number three number two and number one which could definitely go well with a lot of like disney kits so we have those and then we picked up some of the add-ons oh here's a freebie this like pur deep purple freebie there you have it and then I picked up these sprinkles fam girl um because I want to pick up that kit I picked up the level up I picked up this one for me and this one for my fiance if I ever use that for like his birthday or not I picked up this um I am a Ravenclaw self-proclaimed like I sometimes get Slytherin, but I'm going to go with Ravenclaw because I've been getting that on <laughs> whenever I do those things more recently. So I used to say I'm a Slytherclaw, but I'm just going to pick a side because Gen Z bullies me for that. So um, I picked up the Fam 2 for this girl here and um, got the Ravenclaw add-on. Um, <clears throat> then we have the Sprinkles add-ons here. I really do like this ombre bottom washi. I think this is really cute for definitely whenever I have a child. I'm definitely gonna hoard it for probably my child's first birthday. Unconceived child, by the way. Not even a thought <laughs> anytime soon. If I can even have kids, who knows? Then I got the Let It Snow add-ons. I got the Fashion Girls and the 15 millimeter washi. I got the Pet Potty. Um, these colors are almost like so similar. I'm so okay. No, I got the pet potty. I think these go together. Yes, the pet potty add-ons. Super cute. I got the magic. I matched them by glitter color, glitter like stroke color. If you couldn't tell. So the 15 millimeter washi, the label sampler, and um, the uh, fashion girls hoping to use whenever I can go to Disneyland in Paris. And then I got the level up add-ons, the 15 millimeter washi and the extra label sampler. I got the fourth add-ons because <clears throat> I'm I'm considering picking it up because I haven't had it in a while and I do like this fashion girl. Um so picked up the fashion girl add-ons and the 15 millimeter washi and then um I think this goes to the uh, wizard uh, kit, but this is also the 15mm washi. So that is all for this portion of the haul and <laughs> this haul for this month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Let me know what was your favorite thing from this haul, if you have anything that you picked up that I also picked up. Um, but that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.